Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel. Yunus Sharfayu is here and in this video I'm going to show how you can work with animations easily using a library called Lottie. Let's get started. So the library called Lottie is a library developed by Airbnb. This is the main repository for Lottie Android. Here it is. And as you can see from the description, it's a mobile library that lets you parse Adobe After Effects, animation exported as JSON, and render them natively on mobile. That's the main idea. You use it also with Lottie files, which is a repository for multiple animation you can use. There is paid and there is also free. One. As you can see, here is like special animations show, showed here. Like imagine that you would do this animation by hand. It will be tedious. Now, this library is very good in order to show good user experience with great animations you have. So let's start integrating it. Now, here is the main thing. We'll start copying this one. This is the implementation. Go here to appear.gradle file. I will do it on both things. I will do it on normal XML project and I will do it on Jetpack Compose project. It will be different, but you will see. Now, here is the first one, like this 5.0.2. Let's sync. Now, after syncing, what you have to do, you'll go to the activity you want to display your animation in. Let's say here, for example. And I'm having just a text view here. I will do the same example in Jetpack Compose in a minute. Here, you will declare something called Lottie Animation View. You will give it the size as normal, like I will do match parent, match parent, for example, just for the sake of example. And here you will set some things. Let me just delete that. First of all, you have to set, if you want to work with it, you have to set an ID. So it is Lottie Animation. And here you have multiple things you can use. Like if you do like Lottie, and you will see multiple things you can use. We will see that in a minute. Now go to the website called Lottie Files. In this website, you can download multiple animations. Like there is multiple animations. If you search for something, let's say I'm going to search for delivery, something like the following. Delivery is something. Here you can see multiple animations you can use. For example, you can use this one, this one, there's multiple animation, this beautiful one. It will give you a special touch to your application. Let me download that and go here to download and download it as lottie.json. Here it is. We will copy that file into Android Studio. Now, before going from here, you can customize it. Like you can change this color here if you want with Lottie Editor. I think. And here you can change many colors, right? You can change the color so you can work with it. So this will be a great thing in order to customize some animation for your needs. Let's go back. Go back to Android Studio. And here in the Android Studio, create the resource, Android resource directory called row. And here, choose raw, this one. And click OK and copy that file. I will paste it here. I will just change it, delivery, animation. Now, this animation, I don't yet exactly know, don't ask it. Here is, this is an animation, how it works. I don't care. Delete it. Now, here you can specify, you can give it the file direct. Do lottie.row resource. And here, just do raw delivery animation. Here is the animation here, right? Now, there is multiple, as I said, multiple options to Lottie, like it will auto start, for example, Lottie auto play, you will give it the true, it will start automatically. And if you want to keep looping, you can do it also, like do loop, like following, true, it will keep looping. That's all about it. And here in the code, like for example, you can use it with your binding or anything you are using, you can use Lottie animation and you can access many, especially you can access a listener, an update listener and finished listener, something like the following. Add an animation listener, and here, like you can specify the animator. You can specify that following. Let me import it. You can do something like the following, and let's define it as an interface like that. And it will give you points on the animation when it starts, when it's end, when it cancel, and when it repeat. So this is useful if you want to use it for certain circumstances. And you can start it from here. You can do play like following the animation. You can pause your animation and also you can cancel. Yeah, you can cancel the animation. Now, if you start your application, I, I did all everything here from the XML. Let me just run the application again. Here in the emulator, we will see the animation. Make sure you have enabled like your emulator for animations if you didn't use it for this. As you can see, here is the animation playing and it will start again. If I did this loop to false, it won't. Okay. And also, if I did this autoplay to force, you have to start it manually. Let's say you want to start it based on an event, like when the user sign up, for example, you will show it like normal visibility and you will start it. That will be good. That will be great indicator and it gives a great user experience. So this is it on how to use Lottie for me from the XML. We will see it just compose in a minute. But here there is multiple options you can use. Like you can, as I said, play, stop it, add listener, check if it is animating or not, frame, like progress progress when it is like when you said when we said 
it's an animation. There is a progress on which frame it is. This will give you also the current frame, I think. There is also something called speed, I think. Like the speed can control the speed of this animation. Speed is float, like we will set it from here. Let's say I want to, to double the speed. You can do 2.0F, like should be, should be up, it should be float. As you can see, the speed here is very fast. It is very fast from the beginning. If I change it to, for example, 0. Point, let's say 2, it would be too slow. As you can see, it is too slow. It is coming. So this is it for Lottie for the XML side. Let's see how we can use it with the Jetpack Compose because it's a little bit different. Now we'll be using the same library from the same authors of the same uh, Lottie Airbnb, but it will be from Android Compose and it will be like a different dependency. You will have to set up like differently. We'll, we'll do the setup right here. I'm having here a different Jetpack Compose project. It's like a new project, like I do it from the wizard here. And here we will try to integrate Lottie, how it works here. So the first thing you will have to grab the dependencies. Go here to the dependencies and let's add it. Go here, here is the dependency. Copy it, paste it, like there is multiple things here. I will let it and just increase the version to 5.2.2. And I think we should add something else. The snapshot I hosted, I think we should also add that. This is come from great properties here, I think. Maven Central here. Yeah, from the repositories, we'll have to add it here also. So just think it and let it go. Now, after the successful sync, let's start doing that. Now here I will be deleting that one, this one default preview, let me delete that. This is like previous thing. Let me rename this to Lottie example, something like that. And let's delete that, delete that, and delete that. I hate those brackets, like you can do something like following hopefully. And let's start. So the first thing we need to do first, we should set up the state for the different things that can control the Lottie animation, which is, for example, the speed, if it is playing or not, the animation, so on. So first of all, we do var is playing, and we do it by delegation. Remember the state, please. Remember. Now, this is stuff related to what? This stuff related to Jetpack Compose. I didn't yet do Jetpack Compose CD. There is some great series about that by the channel of PL coding like Philip Blacker and also I think coding with Mitch, it's a great example. You can check that until I made a special series here in my channel. Now here I will just do a mutable state of like it will be true for example for the first time. This is the first thing. You can add many states like for the speed and everything. We will put like the default one for the speed each zero or one for it. Yeah, please mutable state of like 1.0f. Can I do 1f? Yeah, you can do 1f. That's the first thing. Now we should define a state for the Lottie composition itself. You can name it composition, like following, and you can do by Lottie composition. Remember Lottie composition. Now here you will give it the animation file. Okay, so you do Lottie composition spec, this one, and you do from the grow resource. And you have to do, do it like following r dot row dot what dot the animation. And now after that, what you have to do is you have to create the composition state for the lot. So we create like an animation and to be also by animate lot composition as state. And here you give it multiple things. Let me just do that. Troll, like following and fill function. So the composition will be my composition. It's playing, it will be this one. Restart on play. Now this sometimes, let's say that the animation will be stopped, will be paused, and then you will play it again. If you set it to true, it will start from the beginning. That's it. I will delete some of those, like iteration and so on. Let me just do speed, paste it here for the speed. You can delete many things. Let me delete that also. Let me delete animation system scale. I don't need it here. There is for the iteration, like for how many it will loop. You can give it here one, for example, or you can give it like forever. Okay, so what you can do, like it, I think it is in a constant. If you have constant here, and there is iterate for it. I don't know, it's forever, it's max value. Okay, it's simple, it's max value. So this is the animation. Now, all of those are just states. All of those are just states. Now we'll have to pass it to the main thing, which is the Lottie animation. This one, animation, this one. Now for the animation, you have also to pass the composition, right? This is the main thing, the composition, like there's multiple things you can set up and you can pass it the animation. Now here for the animation, what we do with this animation, this animation will allow us to what? to control the animation. And finally, and finally, you can pass your lovely modifier. So for this modifier, I will just use like modifier and I will just use like some size here. I will just use like, I don't know, like 250. 
So this is for the animation. I know the setup is pretty like this is always with Jetpack Composing, like this setup. Okay, you have to set up the state and everything. So this will create what? We create a lot of animation. But we are not using this animation inside, like we don't know, inside column or something. So we'll have to give it like some layout. All right, so we'll just use column here, command, column, and here inside the column scope, I will put it like following. And here in the column, I'll just paste some modifier thing, like this, some polishing thing. And now I think we can launch the application. Let's run it and see how it's working. I think we did everything correctly, hopefully. Like as I said, you have to set some states. So we have some states, some composition state. And this animation is not like the real name for the animation, but because the real animation is happening here. Okay, here is the animation. Now this will allow you to control it. As you can see, here is the animation we starting playing and everything. So the size is a little bit smaller. Let me just do it like 500 to be a little bit bigger. Like you can change, as I said, you can change anything here. Exactly, here is a little bit size bigger. You can work with this things here in Jetpack Compose, no problem. But the main idea is to set your states, as always, in Jetpack Compose, set your animation like following, and pass everything here. Now here, there is something I want to mention also. Let's say that you want, because the, the usability of this state, for example, is to reuse it and modify it. So let's say that on the top of the button, I will stop the animation. That's it. Play versus stop. Something, something like the following. And here in the on click, you will have to change this is playing. I will just put it as far and just import it again. And it's playing here. I will just assign it. The is playing, but negate that. And let's run it. And as you can see, let me check. Here is the button. Play stop. If I click it, it will stop. As you can see, if I run it again, it will go, I stop it, for example, click again, and so on. So this is how you can use this states in order to update your animation and control your animation. That's the idea. You can change, as I said, the speed, everything here. If you want to change that, you can change that. Restart on play. Let me just show you an example of restart on play. Let me just do it again. If I play like that, if I play again, it will start from the beginning. It won't continue, as I said. That's the restart on play thing. All right, so this is it for this long video. I hope you enjoyed how you can work with Lottie in XML versus Jetpack Compose. You know, some projects are still using XML, so you have to know how to use Lottie on those projects, and you know how to use Lottie on this Jetpack Compose project. All right, so this is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is really important, and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.